Hey guys, Oscar here for Not A Grouch. Check out my shirt, notagrouch.com. This is actually one of our members that made that shirt for me. So I appreciate it. And today, I'm heading over to Starbucks. I do a lot of work from there. And what I'm doing today, is I'm consulting with somebody for over $400 an hour. So if you're interested to find out how I do that, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you in this video exactly what I do for, to achieve those prices. Hey guys, so I just finished my meeting with my client. To be clear, let me show you. I put a screenshot of the invoice on here. My engagement with him is finished right now. If he wants to hire me anymore for more stuff, he can do so. But my rate is about $400 an hour. This is part of the dot com lifestyle. I don't trade time for money unless is the way I want to and that's what I love I it's amazing to be able to do that and let me tell you some of the ways that you can do the same now I didn't just immediately start charging 400 600 dollars an hour I'm gonna tell you about it on my drive to meet a friend for dinner now you may be wondering, Oscar, you must have a very specialized degree that allows you to charge more than a doctor, more than an attorney. To be honest, some attorneys charge thousands of dollars an hour. <clears throat> and why is that? It's 31985. Why are some people able to charge twelve hundred dollars for for one hour? Imagine when you hire them for six hours or something like that. How are they able to do that? You see value, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. In other words, the value I provide to you can be wor worth X amount of dollars, but it can be worth 10 times that to somebody else. If you are facing jail time, for example, if you're, we go back to the attorney example, if you're facing jail time and a possible life sentence, for example, for whatever you're being accused of, how much is it worth to you to have the best attorney present? Would you pay $100,000? Would you pay $200,000 to have somebody help you get out of that trouble? Some people would pay as much money as they can, as much money as they have. And on paper, when you look at that attorney that's going to represent you for $200,000, for example, maybe he went to the same school and has the same degree than an attorney that would charge you $40,000. So what gives that other person the right to charge you such high amounts? In fact, I get that question all the time. People say, oh, how dare you send me a quote for $400 an hour? Who do you think you are, a lawyer? What do you think you are, a doctor? And I politely say, I'm sorry, I don't meet your budget feel free to find somebody else that can help you. The reason I can do that is because I know my worth. When I help you with your business, with internet marketing, with social media, I bring all of my expertise to the table. I will not let you make a mistake. I know the technical aspects of what you're trying to do. I'm not a social media manager. I didn't start doing Twitter and Facebook two months ago when I thought it was a cool thing to do and I could make some money with it. 
I've been on the internet since I was a kid. This is what I do. This is my life's work. So when I give you advice on how to do something, I take all of my experience into consideration. I take 13 years of working with startups and huge companies, as well as mom and pop shops, as well as you know entrepreneurs that are bootstrapped and starting their business with their life savings. I take all of my expertise from all the failures I've experienced all the success I've helped. I take all of that experience and in two hours or one hour or however long engagement we have, I share with you the best possible advice that money can buy. For example, for example, the, the person I met with today, he wanted to know whether he should or should not do something with affiliate marketing and how he should go about it. That's all we talked about today. And yes, that is worth the kind of money I talked about at the beginning of the video because preparation is everything. And when you look at what you want to do for the rest of your life or what you want to do for the next five or 10 years, not making a mistake is worth, it's, it's, it's an invaluable number. You can't put a price to that. So people are willing to pay a high price to get the right advice. I did not have to create anything. I did not have to build anything. I did not have to demonstrate or teach anything. I simply had to provide information, craft it in real time for the situation I was presented with. My expertise, my experience allows me to come up with that information on demand, on the spot. That's the difference between somebody that can do a task overnight or over a week versus somebody that can answer a question right. I, don't, I do not take engagements for topics and things I do not consider myself an expert in because I don't want to give people less than they deserve and they deserve the best. So when I say that the value is from the eye of the beholder, it is because if I can teach you if I can show you, if I can tell you in two hours how to make $10,000 and you apply that and you make that money in the next week or the next two weeks or even in the next month or the next four months, would you disagree with me if I told you that it is worth $1,000 for that information? You will be able to use that information over and over and over again. And when you make $10,000, the next month you'll be able to make another $10,000 and the next week or the next period of time. So your one-time investment with me of what seems like a small fortune will pay itself many times over. Don't confuse value with price. When you go to a fancy world-class dinner at a fine dining restaurant and you pay $75 for a steak, for example. You're not just paying for a piece of meat. You're paying for high quality meat provided and prepared by a top chef. And you're paying for the experience of the restaurant. You're paying for world-class service, for undivided attention from people that are serving you. You're paying for luxur luxurious silverware, tableware, you're paying for status, you're paying for visibility. Some people find that important, some people don't. But you can't put a price on certain things. It's all value-based. And the person that's paying decides if it's valuable or not. Don't forget that. On the counterpoint, do you understand how to extract that value out of your own intellectual property and provide that to your customers. If your advice will change somebody's life, how much is that worth? If you are, say, for example, a, a video producer and you produce videos for companies to advertise on YouTube or Facebook, on social media, even on television, there's a, there's a fee, there's a nominal fee that we call the market rate. 
But what if you were able to charge 10 times that amount? Let's put a quick number to it. Let's say that it costs $300 to produce a three minute video professionally. And that's your rate. That's what the competitors are charging. That's what you think you should charge. So you decide that's your price. After you have some practice and experience, you notice that your customers are doing really well. Your videos attract the most attention. They make the most conversions and your clients love it. Wouldn't it make sense for you to charge more money for those videos? <clears throat> and we're not talking about greed here. We're talking about value. Value is important, incredibly important. So when the next client comes to you and says, I'd like you to make me a video. You can say, I charge $3,000 for that video. They say, oh my God, that's incredible. This other company only charges me $300 for the same amount of time. You can politely say to them, go ahead and have them make the video for you. Because your videos bring results, your videos bring money, your videos are better and you know what you're doing. That's why you charge. Only experience and expertise allows you to do that. So that's how you do it. That's how I'm able to charge $400 or more sometimes. And soon, I don't know, maybe in the next couple of years, I'll be charging a thousand or two thousand dollars an hour because my time is valuable. And if I can make that amount of money on my own time without having to sacrifice actual time, for example, with the internet, with recurring income, then why should I sell myself short for somebody else? Think about that next time you've tried to price your service or product for a customer. See you on the next video.